No. You're reading? No. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Okay, Thanks. great, great. That's good to see you again. Okay, uh, me either. Me too, me too. Hi. Me too, me too. Hi, Hi, how are you? Hey, sorry, I'm late. What are you uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, yesterday I couldn't connect yesterday. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Gio, we missed you. What happened? Yeah, I had some, some electrical problems in the house. Oh, yes, I, I have already solved. Yeah, but um, uh, Ronnie said that you wouldn't that you went to a party and then uh, <laughs> no. but no problem, okay? I believe I believe you. I believe you, you okay? Yeah. Oh, Ronnie's here. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't I hadn't seen you. Ronnie, how are you? I uh, fine. What about you? Oh, okay, great. You know, happy to see you again. Right? Okay. How was I'm the day for the class? Yeah, nice. that's that's cool. That's cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gio, you 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 uh, missed in class yesterday. Yeah. I, I, I had <laughs> no, some boys. I had some electrical problems in the house. Okay. Yes, yes yeah. Gio, remember Gio, remember that we had to pay the electricity bill, right? So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hey. you, you gotta you gotta be responsible. <laughs> okay. Okay, um just let me um I'm trying to okay here. Today I will be able to show you this. Okay, good. Now we can see each other. Okay, good. So what was the topic yesterday? I don't remember. Who can refresh my memory? Passive voice. Passive voice, right? What was what was it about the passive voice? Terra boy. <laughs> because it, because it's a little confused the topic okay good excellent but today we're going to solve it out no problem okay okay so we have the we have the solution okay for that nice. problem, i hope <laughs> okay <laughs> let me show you i think today i will be able can you see that presentation yes yes okay yeah. perfect yes okay good so then See if we can change it. Yes, all right. Okay, so then here, for example, we have the chair is being right. What passive voice form is this one? We're talking about the chair. 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 Uh huh. And this is the bell. Uh, uh huh. Present. And what? Simple in, present. Simple present, right? Simple present, present because it is. And um, present, no, simple present. Present progressive. Okay. It's a progressive, right? Sorry, sorry. Because it's point. happening. It's happening, right? Right. The chair uh -huh, is happening. You can see the chair is it's being, being made, made by the carpenter. Okay. Remember yesterday we were talking about a computer, right? The chair, uh, the computer is being or was being repaired. Okay. And cool. now here we have. Look. By here mm -hmm. is the the subject. Okay. Is being is the tense, made is the past participle of the verb, and the doer of the action is the carpenter. The carpenter. Now, if we put this sentence into, a, let's say, a active voice, it will be the carpenter. The carpenter is being made. Yes, the carpenter made. is. Is made. Is made or can. Making is the word. Making. Making. Right, right, right. right. Okay. Right. Making the chair. Okay. Make it. Make it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll see you. Uh huh. Exactly. Is making the chair. Okay. This is just for you to to start getting into that topic. Okay. So we have this is another one. Look. You can see the picture. Probably you don't know the word send it, but if you see the picture, you can deduct the meaning, right? What is the meaning? Lihar? Mm -hmm. That's correct, right? In past tense, right? So sand. Okay, it's like, you know, like when you go to the beach, you have a lot of sand, right? Mm -hmm. But also sand is the bear 
okay, when you are polishing something. And they say the carpenter sanded the wood. Okay. Uh, is teacher. Active form. I don't know, huh? I don't know if <laughs> I am in, in a mistake, but I think in this topic, uh, we can use a lot of uh, sentences literally in Spanish, right? Uh, I don't know yes. if I'm wrong. Yes. This one, for example, is one of those. Okay. <clears throat> it's not always, I mean, in, not only in these sentences or in this uh, form, there are, there are many cases, Eric, that you will be able to, to see something literal or very, very literal, but, but it's not always, right? It's not always. Okay, okay. Good. Now let's see the next one. The passive form is? The wood was sanded. The wood was sanded. By, sand. the, carpenter. by okay. the carpenter. Can you see the, the difference, right? Sanded, past tense. And then we have here, was. was. Okay, remember, uh, in this case we use is being, right? Present, progressive. In this case, it's past tense, simple past. Then we use the past tense of be. And then you can see that they have the same meaning. Okay? In a different form. Okay? okay? This one, we make the emphasis in the wood. Hey, look at the wood. Oh, it was sanded by the carpenter. That's why it looks very nice, very neat. Okay, very soft, smooth, right? And then in the carpenter standard. Here we want to emphasize that the carpenter did the job. Okay. So now here we have, for example, how we change. Carol is what? Is the subject. So subject, that's correct. Right? Paul mm -hmm. is the bear. In what tense? In past. Yes. And then we have the object, which is the house. The house. The house. Okay, and in the passive form, we have? The house, the house was, was sold by Carl. Oh. Uh -huh. Then we have, for example, the house by is now the subject, look. Okay, was is the past tense. Okay, the past tense. And sold. Okay, sold here is the simple past or the past tense. Sold here is the past participle. Okay? Remember that this one is sell, sold, sold. Okay, this, this, this verb and this verb are different. Okay, this is ben, vendió and this is vendido. Exactly, right? So that's the difference, right? Past tense, and, yes, pasado, past and past participle. Okay, good. Then you can see, for example, how they change it. Carol is now the, the object, and the object, the house, is now the subject. The subject. See how you invert, right? You swap, okay? You switch the carol, the subject, and the object. No problem? No. Okay. Then we have object of active, okay, is the subject of the passive. Okay, the object here, the object of the active form is the passive, okay, subject in the second sentence. And the subject of the active becomes the object of the passive form of the object of by. Okay, what about this one? Fuel is burned mm -hmm. by cars. cars. Be careful, right? Cars are not burned by fuel. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fuel is burned by cars. What would be the active? Cars burn, burn it. The field. Burn. The uh -huh. cars. 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 Are. Burn. Cars is burn. Is are burn. Uh -huh. the cars burn. Cars burn. 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 Burn.
burn fuel. Burn. This is present or past? It's present. Present. Uh -huh, present. Because we have the verb to be here. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, coffee is grown by farmers. By farmers. E plus participle. Okay. E plus participle. The race was given by the bus. Okay, more money. More money was given by the boss. The mm -hmm. present past. Past, past. past participle. I'm sorry, what is the meaning of, of the race? Race is when your salary Increase. is up or increases. Ah, okay. Goes up, oh, right? If your salary now is 1,000, okay? Oh. And then tomorrow your yeah. salary will be uh, 2,000. <laughs> A race. No. Okay, only Ronnie can have those kind of races here. Okay. No. Then the photo will be printed. <laughs> the photo. Will uh, be... I I feel happy. Then. Huh? This salary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The photo will be printed by Alex. Okay. Future. This is future, correct? So you see the present of B is the past of B was the future of B will be will be and we always use the past participle uh, uh, uh. Okay? okay good then here the you see this one Carn, cars cars burn fuel simple present fuel is burned by cars okay. The race thrilled then. Thrill is you not know, like scare, right? Lo asustó un poco, right? The race thrilled then. Then was thrilled by the race. Okay? So simple past, and then here you use the past tense. Present perfect. Al has printed. Okay, here is similar. Look, has and past participle. Mm -hmm. This printed is past participle. This one are similar. Okay, but the photo has been. Has been. We add. Okay, uh, we add what the verb to be. In the passive form, the photo has been printed by all. No problem so far. Okay, if you have questions, uh, you can copy and uh, all right. And then after you can always ask me a question. No problem. Future new cars will save fuel. Okay, the electric cars maybe or the hybrid cars. And then the Tesla. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> fuel will be saved. Okay, you see will be saved by cars. By cars. Okay. Now with the coronavirus, we are also saving a lot of gas, right? You don't go out. Mm -hmm. Okay, now look, active. The squirrel. This is the squirrel. Look at the look at the color and the size of the squirrel in the United States. In El Salvador, they are very small. Very small in different uh, colors. In gray. Color in the gray. food. The food. Uh, look at the food. The weather. <laughs> the weather. They have more vitamins here than I mean. Yeah, yeah. Than in El Salvador, <laughs> right? Okay. Then the squirrel gather the nuts. What this is the active? What is the passive? The nut. The nut. Mm -hmm. The nut. What gather? Yeah. By squirrel. Okay. The nut square. Okay. Yes. Remember that the nuts is singular or plural. It's plural. Plural. Okay. Plural. When you put the here nuts the nut, where, where, where uh, gather, gathered, gathered by, by the square. square. 
by the squirrel. By the squirrel. Okay. By the squirrel. Let's see? There you go. The nuts were gathered by the squirrel. Okay? Nice. Where? Because this is plural. If this is only not, then you say was. It is not. Was. Okay. Somebody gave me this example the other day. The wall was painted by Matthew. This is the passive. What okay. is the active? Matthew. Matthew painted the wall. Matthew painted the wall. Painted the wall. Uh -huh. Matthew painted the wall. Painted the wall. Okay. Perfect. There you go. The voters will determine, okay? The voters will determine the election results. The election results? Mm -hmm. The election results. The election where, results will be, where, will be, the, will be, will be, be the voters. Be the the right right the I had a term in the here. Terminate by the voters. The term by the voters. By the voters. By the voters. The election results, this is the will be. subject, will be determined, determined, determined. determined. by Term. the voters. By the voters. 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 Border. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Border. Remember, border. 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 Okay, border. good. Next one. Erica's knees. Okay. This is, you know. Salud. Oh, fast. Yes. Bless, bless, bless you. Erica. <laughs> bless you. Oh, and, she has, and, and she has no mask. Look. She's using mm -hmm. her hands. Really? Oh, bad parents. Bad parents. <laughs> She's getting oh. through. Yes. <laughs> Okay, transitive. This is what I told you yesterday. Remember the transitive verbs and the intransitive verbs. Okay? So we have Janet earned. Mm -hmm. Janet earned what? The promotion. The promotion. Okay. The promotion. Another, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Janet earned what? Another thing? Money. Earn money. Janet earned the salary. Janet earned the raise. The raise. Uh-huh. So you see, there is always a question: What? What did she? What did she earn? Uh, she earned the promotion. Earned. She earned the money. Okay. The lottery. She, uh -huh, she won. In that case, she won the lottery. Okay. She earned the money in the lottery. Maybe Janet earned the level too. The level. Uh huh. Yes. But this is won. Uh -huh, this is more like win. That oh. they just win the level. They win a Maybe grade. the prize. The prize win. This is mostly you know for for this is uh, something that you have make a uh, uh, let's say a uh, an effort that is sometimes it's not very like how can I tell you like probably many physical right. This is just something a promotion okay. that you have won that you have earned. This one, they saw what. The accident. They saw what? The, the accident. Uh, the movie. Uh -huh, or the, the movie. Uh -huh. The football game. What they saw the football game. Okay. The soap opera. The soap opera, yes. No, the Señor de los Cielos was good. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I am kidding. The, the Lord of the Skies. The Lord of the Skies. Okay, good. Come. In French, it sounds better in English, right? Yes, the Lord, the Lord of the Sky. The Lord of the Sky, <laughs> yes. Look at this one. In transitive. This is a problem occurred. You don't say a problem occurred me. Okay? Or a problem occurred a I don't know. This is just a problem a, a problem happened. Something happened. Mm -hmm. Okay? So here you don't see an object, okay? They arrived late. late, late. but here late is not an object, right? They arrived early, okay, it can be an adjective. They, uh, they arrived together, okay? But this is, this is for example, it's just a compound. Or you can say only they arrived. Alone? They came, uh -huh. they arrived alone, exactly. Okay. okay? And then look, 
transitive, transitive verb have an object, okay? Intransitive verbs don't have an object. Okay, so then with this intransitive verbs, it's not possible to use passive voice. Passive voice. Okay. That's why sometimes don't feel uh, don't feel frustrated if you don't find that. Okay, no, this is not possible. No. Okay, first you have to. In, in, if you don't have a a teacher or somebody to help you in that moment. You can find it in the dictionary if it is a transitive or intransitive verb. But always remember a tip, a tip to discover if you have a transitive verb, if, if this question, if this uh, verb answers the question what or who. For example. Sorry, what or, or, who? or who? Okay. Who. For example, they saw what? The accident. They saw what? The car. They saw what? The football match. They saw what? The movie. They saw who? Uh, the girl. They saw who? The policeman. They saw who? Uh, the what? Uh, they saw it. For the, example. The guy. They saw it. Uh -huh, exactly. Okay, but in this case, a problem occurred what? No, probably where, right? A problem occurred in my house. That would be a different compliment. They arrive. They arrive when late. They arrive alone. They arrive with whom? Okay, no who. Okay, so you see, this one will answer a different question, but no what or not who. Okay, this is a tip that you can use uh, to know which one is a uh, transitive verb or intransitive verb. Okay. Look at this one, transitive verbs, it says, Janet earned the promotion. Mm -hmm. The promotion was earned by Janet. Intransitive verb, for example, birds fly. No se puede. Mm -hmm. Okay, you cannot say here, for example, uh, there is no idea that birds fly and that's it, it's an action they do. Okay, then this is an intrusive verb in this case. There are, remember that there are verbs that have also different meanings, right? Remember the word fly is also a noun. Okay, it's also, uh, okay, let me see, there is another meaning for fly. Help me, help me, help me. Uh, oh yes. For example, here fly is the ability, right, that the bird has, correct? So, is there a pilot here? Is there a pilot in this class? No? No. 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 Okay. No. Can pilots fly? Question. Can yes. pilots fly? Yes. By airplanes. Okay, then can the pilot fly? No, the person no. No, no, no the fly. No, 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 no the pilot. No, no the pilot. No, the, uh -huh. no the pilot. But the airplane. But the pilot but can by the fly. Airplane can he fly drive an the airplane. airplane. Can fly uh, an airplane. airplane. In that case, fly mm -hmm. is like drive, correct? It's not yes. that he can fly, it's that he can manipulate. It's not ability. Uh -huh. He can manipulate the plane and make the plane fly. Okay, in that case, for example, you can say the airplane was flown by the pilot. Okay? It can be a movement too. It can be? A movement when you go fast. How? Um, like um, flying like a bullet. Oh, well, but that's in a, a in a figure sense, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say, for example, you know, he, the, you can say the you saw the goalkeeper flying to stop the ball, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, but yeah. uh, in that sense, mm -hmm. you cannot say that uh, 
is it would be like this one it would be intransitive mm -hmm. okay because you okay. cannot say uh the fly i mean in that case you will not be able to to make a passive form when you say the the goalkeeper fly, uh say flew to stop the penalty okay but in that case it's intransitive yes there can be some situations right okay good then you see here birds our fly is not possible transitive birds passive is okay you can use it in transitive birds not passive, not passive. Not possible. okay now is this bird transitive or intransitive Try to, make, try, try to make the try to change it to the passive voice in your mind and say transitive or intransitive. Intransitive. Transitive. Transitive. Okay. Transitive. Because because the action the action is uh, a specific day uh -huh. yesterday. It will be when right. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's different if you say it rained water, but it's also <laughs> silly, right? Or, or probably you can say, oh, well if they in the in the Joker's movie, you can say it rained money, oh, right? Yeah. In, in some movies, you can see that, right? It's raining money. Okay, so it is in France, mm -hmm. right? Good. Next one. Eva won a medal. Transitive or in France? Transitive. 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 Very good. Excellent. And the passive form is? The medal was by Eva. Okay. The medal was won by Eva. Okay, here you see won, right? Won, won. The medal was won by Eva. Very good. Excellent, people. Yes. Good. Transitive or intransitive? Transitive. Transitive. Tim Berners Lee invented World Wide Web. WWW. Okay. In the passive form? W, W, W. It's invited. Was invented. Okay, yes. World Wide Web or WWW. Okay. Was invented. Tim Berners. Tim Berners. Okay. Excellent. This painting was done by my mother. This is another one. Look, this painting was done by my mother. Because it would be like this painting was paint, was painted. It would sound very redundant, right? You can find another verb similar to that. Okay. We have using the by phrase. This desk was by, made by manual. Okay, here using by. By phrase in this case is important information. Okay, if it is important, you use it. If you don't consider this, you don't use it. Okay? Good. This desk was made in Taiwan. Okay, hey, who's painting? Okay, this desk was made in Taiwan. Okay. This form is eaten in many places. Okay, is it necessary to use by? Probably not, right? We only need to mm -hmm. know that it was made in the country, but probably know by by the carpenters, by the who else? Who else could build the, by the by workers? The, by the uh -huh. factory. By the fa uh, factory workers. Uh -huh. Corn is eaten in many places by people, mm. by birds. Mm. Probably it's not really necessary. By child. By children. Uh -huh. That apartment was built in 2007 only if you consider, for example, if you want to say, hey, that apartment was built in 2007 by my father. 
Okay, probably you want to emphasize that. You want to give credits to your father, then you can use it, right? Or by a company. Or by a, huh? or by a famous company. Or, okay. you, uh, or by, a, by a famous company, or, or by a company that you know that, for example, was involved in problems. And say, hey, you know, that apartment was built by that company that had problems in 2007. Don't buy it, okay? Mm -hmm. So then you can give that recommendation, right? So this one is, you know, is a, when you use why sometimes depends on the information that we want to give. Spanish is spoken in many countries, obviously by people, right? Usually, no, by in these cases. Usually, that's why I say not always, right? Usually, there are exceptions. Form. My mother is a great artist. She painted many beautiful portraits. Focus, my mother. She. This painting was done by my mother. That one was done by her friend. Then the focus is? That one. Okay. That one or the painting too, right? Focus on subjects. Okay. Uh, let's practice a little bit more before we just three or four more and then we we go back. Say active Shakespeare wrote Hamlet. Pass it for Hamlet was Shakespeare. Hamlet was Britain. 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 By Shakespeare. By Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Yes, good. All it was written by Shakespeare. Very good. Excellent. Next. Many students use computers. The computers, Com computers, computers were used are by, are by many students. By computers were or are? are were. 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 were used, were used by, by many students. Use by many students. Computers are used. Uh huh. Used. Word. Is used. Computer are, computers are, are used, used by used. many. I use. Okay, okay, that's better. Yes. Okay, computers are used. Are used. Are used by many students. Many yes. students. Uh -huh. By many students. Yes. Okay, are because it's present. Yes. Tina taught me. How to net? Uh, pass out a teach. The uh huh. Yes, the past tense of teach. Then past tense. Mm. Mm. To me. <coughs> what is the subject? Tina. Tina. And the object? Oh, to to need. Not the object. Remember, the object is immediately after the verb. Me? Me. Uh -huh. the me, if we change me to the subject, will be? I. 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 Uh -huh. I was. I, I was taught. I was taught. What? I, I was taught I, what? I know how to knit. How to knit? I, by whom? By, by Tina. Tina. I was told how to knit by Tina. Okay. I was, I, thought, I was told to knit by Tina. You see, for example, uh, Tina. That was difficult. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, but here you said to say, for example, this is the, the word, okay? I was taught. Okay, I was taught what? To knit. To knit. Who, who taught you that? Because it's a transitive verb. Okay. I this is not literally in Spanish, right? Because huh? in Spanish sounds, I don't know, weird. Yes. Okay, no problem? Yes. Remember this one? I was taught, was taught how to live by Tina. Okay, the other one is quarantine taken by Elton. And this is the passive form of the present. Okay, Arvin. She's writing. 
That would be? A book? Yes. The book was... A book? No. The book is... Mean, is uh -huh. mean. Is it writing? A book is... Wrote. Written. Written. By her. 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 A book is being written, being written by, by, her. by her. Remember that when we use the, the progressive form, taking the being. Okay, in this case, it's are because photos is plural. Okay. A book is being written. Okay, she is writing a book. A book is being written. Present progressive passive form. Am um, is R plus B and plus past participle. Okay, is R is for R for am um, and then B and then past always. They say he was taking a photo. Photos were being taken. And here we have the same situation, right? Past progressive form past where, past was where, where plus being, being past, 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 past participle. Were being taken, was being written, was being stolen, was being informed. Okay. Were being informed. Okay. Two great teams are playing hockey. Okay. What will be the passive? Hockey is okay, being played, played by played. two great teams. Two great teams are playing. Hockey two is being played, played, played by two great teams. Two great teams. Yeah. Okay, everybody, right? If you see, this is just a, a matter of practice, right? Uh, I will share with you. Okay, good. Now, uh, please turn off your mics so that we don't have the background noise. Okay, good. Uh, I will share with you a link. I think I, I have it. Okay, this one, okay, what I, have, what I have taught you in this moment, okay, what we have seen in this moment, you can find it in this link, look, this, is, this looks beautiful, look, only passive, 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 like, I don't know how many exams, how many practices you can have here. Okay, you have passive tests for beginners, intermediate, exercise, uh, da, da. here you have uh, people passive, Okay, for example, this one is very simple. Okay, and then you can have also adjectives, articles, okay, all this material to practice. But uh, I want you to focus in this moment only in the passive voice because this is what we need. This requires a lot of practice. For example, this is very simple. Okay. Here we have, the grapes are grown in California. Geo. Active or passive? Uh, active. Active. Active? It's passive. 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 Okay. Okay. Erica? Tell me. Number two. Active or passive? The hamster can be uh, passive. Passive? Okay. Yes. Good. Well, we'll see at the end. Beatrice, Beatrice, number three. Uh, is active. Active. Okay. Number four, Sergio. Active. Active. Number five, Kelvin. The ship has left the harbor. Active, I think. Active, you think. Okay. Julio. 
Number six. Passive. What? Passive. Active. Did low. This one? Okay. Degrade. Yes. Jesse. Number seven. And number seven. The the first fast food restaurant was open. Is active. Active. Yeah. Okay. Number eight, Ronnie. The train is going to right. Passive. Passive. Yes. Sure. Yes. Okay. Cecilen. Passive. Passive. Okay. And Marvin. Wait, wait. Okay, good. There you have. Now let's see. So answer, no, check. Okay, so we have three mistakes. Okay, three mistakes. Sergio, what's the problem with the number seven? <laughs> the first two uh, is passive voice because we are used uh, where uh, the be in the past form and we are using a, a past participle verb form. Exactly, right? So this is verb to be and past participle form of the verb. Okay, so here you can see a clue that says where open is passive. In simple passive. Okay, good. Eric, what's the problem with the number eight? This, this uh, is because we are using is mm -hmm. in the present of bird to be and going is uh, present progressive so that is a mistake right there. okay and that is active it remembers to what what tense will be in present present progressive present continuous present, present progress are you sure going uh, i'm sorry continue. present continue present continue are you sure, guys? No. I going is, uh -huh. ING is, you know, present progress. What are you going to do after class? Oh, it's future, it's future. Sorry, right. going. <laughs> okay, I'm going to write future. Future, right? Uh-huh, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. But, but you see, but you don't see the, you don't see the past participle here, right? So then this is the, this is how you can find the difference. Yeah, because I know it's active because it's happening in that mm -hmm. moment, right? Yes, it's yeah, going to arrive. It's going to arrive. Okay. And uh, Jessica. Jessica, number ten. What's the number? Jessica. Yes, I'm not sure, teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. Go ahead, no problem, don't worry. What do you think it is? It's not passive because uh, has been is not a passive form. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Okay, for example, yes, have been is a present perfect, progressive, right? But here we don't have the past, yeah. the past participle of the verb. Past participle. Uh -huh. Okay, so then it is active. Okay, here we have, it is. I've been looking forward is just the gerund meeting after looking forward to. Okay, so it is active. Okay, you got it. Okay, okay. here uh, you need to 
Pay attention to those exercises. And then you can find more. Here, you know, for example, simple class. For example, she bought four apples. She won the match. And then, uh, well, you have two options, right? You have the option, the easy option is to show the answers. But the idea is that you first try to do the exercise. Right? So sure you get your answers. For example, she bought four apples. Four apples were bought. We won the match. The match won. And here you can see which one you uh, need a uh, buy and which one sold. Okay. I will. I will share right now this. I think I have the link. Uh, here. No wait. I'm gonna send it here. Copy. Then we go to the chat. Okay, there you have the, the link. You can copy it, right? Or you can now have it in your computer and you can find a lot of exercises there. I mean, but in this moment, focus on the, on the passive voice exercise, right? Because that's uh, probably what we need in this moment is the, the practice for that. Because as I told you, probably right now you have an idea, you have clear the, the how to make the change, but we need to, to practice a little bit more. Okay, now, yesterday you were supposed to bring some sentences, okay? Did you write sentences about using passive voice? Yes? Yeah, but I did it. Okay, Jorge Luis, do you have any? I hadn't seen you in a, in a while. Yes. Read, some, read some of your sentences. Okay, uh, I had three sentences. Go ahead. For present simple. Okay. Okay. Organic vegetables are sold in the shop. Okay. Organic vegetables aren't sold in the shop. Correct. Into a question. Are going vegetables sold in the shop? Uh, repeat the question. Are organic vegetables sold in the shop? Perfect. Okay. So this is, you know, this is another good exercise, right? To use affirmative, negative, negative. and the interrogative form, right? So then you can see how you manipulate the structure, right? How you can use mm -hmm. affirmative, the negative, and then switch the, the verb, right? Are organic uh, vegetables okay. sold in the shop? Good. Uh, Hi, Rick. What do you have? Okay. I got three, two. BMW is developing a new car. Yes. Is that okay? BMW is uh, developing a new car. That's present progressive. That is active. A, a, new, a new car is being developed by BMW. Perfect. That's it. Uh, the display was perfumed by my friends. Okay. And the last one, the cat is going to be chased, chased by the dog in the garden. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> yes, I just imagine the poor, the poor cat being chased by the dog. <laughs> it must be Yesenia's dog because Yesenia's dog is hanged. You know, it's a, he thinks he's a lion. He thinks he's a lion and it's a chihuahua, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so then Im imagine Yesenia's dog chasing the cat, right? Yes, that's correct, Eric. Very good sentences. Okay. Okay, anybody else who wants to share? Anybody else who wrote sentences or any other sentence that you can that you can, uh, you can use in this moment? I had one teacher. Okay, go ahead, Beatrice, please. The living room was cleaned by my mother. Okay, the living room was cleaned by my mother. Okay, yes, that's nice. Okay, two or three more sentences. Hey, don't worry, okay, just try. Okay, I, I work. okay go, Julio. El Salvador soccer team played in a World Cup for last time by 1982. 
Uh, yes, but that's simple past. Uh, uh -huh, yes, but, but the sentence is correct. Okay. okay. But the El Salvador, El Salvador soccer team played. Okay. Uh, for example, the uh, what is uh, what World Cup was that in 1982? Oh, that is a sad one. That is a sad one. Yes. 1982, right? Yes. So then, uh, the, then you say, for example, the 1982 uh, World Cup. Let's see, uh, for example, was play. In that case, you cannot use uh, the the passive words, right? It's only simple past active, but it's good. It's a good sentence. Okay, Erica. Oh, you you were going to say something, I guess. No. No. I I have one. Okay, Adriana. The report was written by me. The report was written by me. Okay, the email was sent by me. You know what a blackmail is? No. That is happening with Trump right now. <laughs> yes, blackmail is when you send uh, a mail to to let's say to get people. Uh, to get something that you want in a bad way, right? So for example, mm. you can say the blackmail was sent by uh, John. By uh Trump. Uh -huh. but, yes. uh -huh. but it means like bad intentions? Yes, yes. Or it, okay. Yes, yes, it's a bad intention, not like chantage, right? So the blackmail was sent. So then this is something that, you know, uh, I have been, uh, I have been, uh, uh, receiving, say some blackmails. It means that I have been being blackmailed. It's another one. Estado siendo chantajeado, right? Something like that. Mm -hmm. It would be. But okay. you can you can use you can say, uh, I was I was uh, I receiving uh, blackmail by or, or from. You can say by or from. Some somebody. Sent by or I received it from. Yes, but that's how that would be different form to say it. Yes. Oh, okay. But, uh, but both are correct. Active. active. Ah, okay, I have, okay. I have Thanks. just present perfect. I have received okay. Okay, uh, okay. black mail from my from my best friend, for example. Okay. Okay. But one more teacher. Yes. Um, uh, okay, Emily. Mm -hmm. Um, America was discovered by Christopher Columbus. Okay. In what year? Oh, in 19, no, 14, no, 1492. Yes, America was discovered by Christopher Columbus. Okay, you see, for example, this, uh, this information, uh, this is where you, sometimes you can discriminate, okay, discriminate when to use by and when not to use it. Okay, for example, if, uh, if you are in a class in first grade or second grade, social studies, it's very important that we say America was discovered by Christopher Columbus because the children don't okay. know. Okay, it's the first time they see the information, right? And then okay. uh, for adult people, sometimes it's also good to, sometimes you can say uh, America was discovered in 1492, other kind of information. But probably in this group, everybody knows who discovered, right? So, okay. Except me. The second uh, uh, sentence is that that the TV is being watched my daughter by my daughter. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Right. Jaime. Jaime. Huh? Jaime. Ready? Okay. Yes. Laura. Who wants to? Hi. Um. The soya milk is being made by Nestle company, for example. That's correct. Okay. The soy milk, soy milk, soy milk. Uh, soy milk yes. is being made uh -huh, by, by Nestle company. By Nestle company, not Nestle company. Okay. Being, being made, being produced. Okay. Processed. Okay. By Nestle company. Very good. I have one. Okay. Hi, May. Go ahead. Nice. Uh, it's, a, it's a joker. Mm -hmm. uh, the coronavirus was created by China. By Chinese. By the Chinese. Chinese. Okay. No, it's not a joke. It's true. 
yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Okay. They say that everything. They say that everything is made in China, even yeah. even our death. <laughs> okay. They are making everything. What else? Another mm -hmm. one. The disaster was caused by Amanda. <laughs> uh -huh, yes, the disaster was caused by Amanda. Okay, good people, excellent. Okay. Just let me check before we go what we have for tomorrow. And this is the this is the one that we watched yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Yes, we did. Okay, here we have uh, the, the knowledge check. Okay. So that we can well, do this one for tomorrow, and tomorrow we check it together, okay? Okay. So this one you have to try to do it by yourself. And this is part of the knowledge check too. Okay, but we can do all right. Okay, can you see this one? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. But, so we have here, it says, uh, a guide to unusual museum. Look at the picture and scan the article. Where do you think you can see very old objects? A working factory, a historic cooking tools. Okay, what is a scan? Do you remember the- Look the, for? Uh-huh, the reading is fast. Yes, remember the reading strategies that we were practicing in previous levels, right? That, for example, a scan is when you look for what? A specific information. Information, information. that's mm -hmm. correct, right? We look for specific information in a reading. And then uh, uh, this is sometimes, and we use sometimes these strategies when we are uh, uh, taking a test. Okay, a reading test, then we read the question, and then we look for possible answers to that question in the reading, but we don't read every single line, right? So in that way, we can find information faster. Okay, so this is a reading strategy. Okay, just go and see the quick information. There one is, uh, first question, okay, let me see, we have somebody here, Ronnie. Can you please read the question here? The first two lines. Okay. The first? The first two lines here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you like museum? Museum? Have you been, have you been to Lauren in Paris, the Museum of, of Anthropology in Mexico City? Or any of those others not see museums? Well, now is the time to go off the beaten path. Beaten path. Okay, good. Questions about vocabulary here. Beaten. Which one? Beaten. Uh, oh, this beaten. Is beaten. Beaten. Okay, all this is an expression. Okay, all this beaten is part. It's time to go off the beaten path is when when we do this, the routines, okay? You have a routine, okay? For example, here, mm -hmm. you always go to the same places, okay? But now it's time to go off the beaten uh, path and do something. Uh, okay. Okay, and Where do something different, okay? For example, you know, uh, in this moment, everybody, everybody is doing almost the same routine every day in the house, right? Probably, you know, uh, living room, uh, dining room, kitchen, and bedroom, okay, living room, come on, come on. Okay, the same thing every day, right? <laughs> so then uh, it's, and then when you when you have your uh, your ID number to go out, they say, okay, it's time for me to go off the beaten path and then you go to a different place. Okay, to do something different, right? To, to go off, 
is an idiomatic expression, right? For example, the here we say the mast sea museums are, for example, the Louvre, right? The Louvre Museum in France is an obligation, okay? Is the museum yes. that is an obligation to see. If you go to, for example, what is, uh, if you invite a friend to El Salvador, <coughs> what are the, let's say the five, five must see places that you will recommend to your friend? I will Cinco say beach. it in Cuatepec Lake. Cuatepeque is a must see place, correct? <laughs> For tourists. Puerto, de, Puerto de Libertad. The Liberty Port on the Puerto Libertad is another must see place. The no? Flowers Route. The Flowers Route, yes, to follow the route is another one, yes. Monte Cristo Mountain. The Mount, uh, had the Monte Cristo Mountain, yes. Isalco Volcano. Isalco Volcano. Isalco Volcano. Okay, these are. El Salvador there Downtown. Are, uh -huh, there are more. There are more, <laughs> but you know, these are at least five that come to your mind in this moment, but you know, right now, uh, San Salvador downtown is also is a must see place, uh, must see place, but at night especially, right? Because mm -hmm. it looks it looks very nice. Okay, and then you can also talk about the uh, probably I don't know, uh, uh, El Tamarindo Beach, right? El Cuco Beach. So these are you know El Tunco Beach. El Tunco Beach. <laughs> these are you know like must see beaches in El Salvador, right? That you can you cannot be in yes. a leave El Salvador without visiting those places. This is a must be. Okay, well, tomorrow uh, we're going to practice reading and pronunciation with this uh, three little paragraphs that we have here. We're gonna check vocabulary, and then we're going to talk a little bit about these places. Okay, I... yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, In the yes. app, I can't open the that image uh, you send the image uh, in whatsapp please which one uh, erica this one please oh this one yes yes sure yes. Well, i'll send it to you the, as soon as we finish the class i'll send it to the whatsapp perfect okay thank you okay you're welcome okay any other question people no no no, no. Question. not for the moment Okay, no, very good. Clearly. Okay, yes, but that's as I told you, is, this is just a, a, well, you have an, the idea here, and then uh, with the link that I sent you for practicing the passive voice, you will discover more and more, but the only way to, to, to keep it in mind is that, you know, so practicing, practicing, practicing. Okay, everyone, so have a good night. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good, uh, good rest. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Have a good night. Thank you for Thank you. Good night. Bye. Thank you, Thank you Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye